Hello everybody, welcome to JFW Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone. Hello! Hello Jim, oh baby, I can't wait for another episode of the greatest wrestling show on earth, Monday Night Claw, baby! And uh, will we finally get the in-ring return of Rick Reckless? I hope so, Jim. Oh baby, we can but hope. He's, he's been an absolute legend. He's slated for the main event, isn't he, against Volcajo. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, well, sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm doing terribly here. First up, we've got Jimmy Fantastic versus Lemon is Good. Oh, baby. What a match. Two, two tag team, uh, you know, not specialists, but, you know, two, two parts of the tag teams that have done well recently. The Glorious Ones have been on a tear. And, of course, last week, Lemon is Good beat Hancock, and Fan Fox beat Steve Moddy, so... Yeah, normally I'd give Jim the edge in this one, um, Jim, because... Uh, Jimmy the edge, rather. Because Jimmy has got a good history in singles competition and has won many titles, uh, despite, like you say, being primarily a tag team wrestler. And Lemon, far less so, but, man, beating Hancock, that just doesn't happen. I know, right? Unbelievable. And I, I'd love it if you were to <laughs> give Jim the edge. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! It's Rick Reckless! What the hell? I wonder what he's got to what say. What is going on here? I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, Tony plays poorly. I think you've lost it. I don't think you've got it anymore. That's if you ever had it in the first place, darn it. Now, I gotta say though, I gotta admit that I made a mistake coming back. I came back too early and I've been re-injured. So I'm sorry to say, I've gotta stay out the ring again this week. And when I come back, oh boy, it's going to be good. I'm going to be great. So let's rebook the main event for tonight, hey? I tell you what, I tell you what, I'll make a promise. And you know I'm good for my word. I'll give Tony his one-on-one -on -one match in the future when I'm healthy, if he can win tonight. If he can actually prove that he is capable of winning inside a steel cage versus Volcasio and Noalias, baby, because he sure as heck didn't win at Backlash. And that's all I got to say about that. Oh, yeah! Flip me. Strong words from Rick Reckless. Unbelievable. <laughs> Returning into Marcel. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. Wow, that's uh, Rick no longer in the main event. It will be a triple threat cage match. Unbelievable. Pretty, pretty big match though. Uh, that's uh, that's a phenomenal match being booked right there. Pretty excited for that one, Jim. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be an absolute blinder. The greatest Wembley Cup champion of all times. Yeah, that's a good point. Volcaho was the uh, <laughs> well, Volk the God. <laughs> was the best, uh, the best, arguably the best Wembley champion of all time, right? An absolute legend. I think he probably was. Yeah, the only one that ran him close was Noalias. Uh, actually, to be fair, uh, Chuck Manmilk as well was uh, was phenomenal. But yes, I think without a doubt, for me, Volcasio takes it, the greatest of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Oh, uh, the current champion, Night Demon. Man, if anyone was going to make a run for that claim. Two-time champion already, might uh, might well steal that in the long term, but he's a long way off yet. I'm glad we're still getting this match, Jim. Sometimes yeah. when these JFW superstars get too big for their boots and interrupt us, we have to cut a match or two. So, oh baby, we're still getting it. Jimmy versus Lemon. Whoa. You can't cut glorious though, can you? Let's be honest. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, it just wouldn't be the same, would it? <laughs> I 
we didn't have at least Jimmy or Table Leg on one of the shows, the fans would go away disappointed. There would be no bang for the buck. <laughs> Love it. Oh, will Jimmy bang or will he be bang? That is the question. Surely he's got to be worried facing a superstar that beat Hancock last week. Like, that's, that's true. man, that would put the fear of God into me. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, Hancock has just looked unbeatable for so long. And yeah, to lose a lemon. Wow. He lost one match. He lost um, an elimination chamber match for his Flip Flop Blues Away title, coming in first, and that's it. That's all we saw for months after month. So yeah. Lemon making a massive, massive statement last week. Yeah, it's just it's clean as well. Almost unthinkable One, two, three, that he could lose. Yeah, exactly. Unbelievable. Because you can understand him losing like tag matches, right, due to his partners. But he's he's won all them, beat being champ, you know, tag team champ. Yep. Just incredible. Do wonder if uh, if something was off. Well, I guess I guess we'll get a clue tonight. If Lemon demolishes Jimmy, maybe Lemon is just testing for singles greatness. <laughs> maybe. But uh, but if if Jimmy beats Lemon, so, we have gotta say something was off with Hancock in that case. I guess so. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> We're about to find out what an entrance. And his opponent from the pits of hell, weighing in at 182 pounds. How does he afford all the suits, Jim? I don't know. He's, uh, you know, no, nobody in the JFW gets paid after all, so. <laughs> <laughs> they always fit and, uh, really nicely as well. It's not they? like there's sizes small, medium, large, and lemon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely has to get them tailor made. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> well, he's dressed for business, isn't he? So I guess he's got some kind of business. That is, a, you know, he's independently wealthy, and he has these. Well, they, uh, they they were in the business of denying Stand Firm the Two Heads Championship, weren't they? Hmm. Very, very much so. Wow, I am tingling, Jim. I can't wait for this to get underway. Come on, ref. Oh, baby. Locking up. Good technical advantage from Jimmy. Squeezing the life out of Lemon already. Oh, dear. Jim's got to be careful he doesn't get disqualified for juicing. <laughs> oh, but look at that. The strength of Lemon coming through. Those muscles aren't balloons. <laughs> oh, what a maneuver, though. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant from Jimmy. Oh my goodness, though, that unbelievable vertical stomp. I never know how he gets the height on that. It is incredible elevation. Oh my god. Wow, and a spinning heel kick. Almost Trouble in Paradise-esque already. Yeah. Softening Jim up for it. But uh, Lemon's got to be careful here because there's, there's an age-old plan of Jimmy's of getting absolutely beaten up and <laughs> kicking out of everything and then coming back for the win at the end. So <laughs> Lemon better not play into that too much. Side rush and leg sweep. Oh man. Jimmy's already marked up like it's ridiculous. He, Lemon's just brutalizing him at the moment. Yeah, that, that spinning heel kick landed flush. And there is, like you say, a massive bruise now on the side of Jimmy that is also <laughs> getting pummeled. Oh, my goodness. Lemon sees it. Lemon oh, sees man. it and goes right after it with a knee. Oh, with a knee. God. Oh, my goodness. I think Jim's side of his face is caved in. <laughs> oh, my God. Looking over the arm. Uh, yeah, he might well celebrate. This is an unbelievable start from Lemon, and we might be realizing that it was no fluke against Hancock. There was nothing wrong with him. Lemon is just a demolishing machine. We don't know where it's come from. Maybe he's just never been let loose. <laughs> Maybe he's just never been let loose in the singles competition before, Jim. I don't think he has. Yeah, they've been, they've been a tag team for so long, uh, Dress Business. Could it be that we didn't realize that it was 5% uh, FanFox and 95% Lemon? <laughs> <laughs> but FanFox has been great as well, hasn't he? You, you he know, seems great. And yeah, you're right. He is winning in Simcoe's competition. And, are they just inefficient? There was a phase when they were doing badly as a tag team. They weren't tagging. They were costing each other matches. But they seem to be over that now. So I don't really understand how they're both so much better in singles competition at the moment. 
He's bizarre. None of this makes sense, but right now this is all Lemon, and he's weakening the leg as if he's going for a submission shortly. Jimmy better find something fast, unless he pulls out the ultimate greatest of all time Jimmy comebacks. <laughs> yep. This is oh. it! It's over! It's genuinely over! It really could be. But Jimmy's been here before. No! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, dear. Two and three quarters. This oh. match is from Concentrate because it's a squash match, Jim. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't say it's over. That was, that was an absolutely classic last split second kick out from Jimmy. But he's going to have to find more. He so often does. But he's going to absolutely have to because he's being utterly pummeled. This is... Honestly, when was the last time Jim got in a single move? <laughs> I can't remember. It's been a slaughter. Oh, here <laughs> it's we been go. an absolute slaughter. Here we go. Yes, fall away slam. Thank goodness. Beautiful. Beautiful. One move from Jimmy in the last 10 minutes lands it. <laughs> oh, go. oh, here we go. Hello, oh, Stoll. he gets it. Running clotheslines. Over and over. Baby, off the ropes. Boom. <laughs> okay. Oh, the fantastic, oh, the fantastic splash. splash! Is this going to be enough? Oh, it's the gym, Adam. No way. No way. Yeah, no! Adam. No! Lemon rolls through! No. Top draw busts Jim open! Oh, my, oh God. my goodness! <laughs> no! Launches Jimmy across the ring and then off the top rope! Oh wow! Oh, God. What a legend. The slaughter man. continues. What a legend. Hello, Jimmy Jesus. Oh. Wow. Jim still just about kicking out at two. Rarely no have way. we seen him so battered and bruised, no so bloody, way. so one sidedly <laughs> pummeled. Fighting back valiantly now with sheer desperation. Boy, howdy. This is looking real bad for Jim. Yep, there's another counter from Lemon. Yep, beautiful uh, judo throw there. Maybe Lemon taking too long to get Jimmy to the ropes? No. <sighs> Jimmy, oh my goodness, dumped outside with a plum. Sorry, not a plum, a lemon. <laughs> oh dear. He is, he is, Goliath. Yep, bit of raspberry jam. Could be it. Is J Jimmy really struggling to get to his feet? Lemon happy to take the count out victory. My goodness. Jimmy's going to try. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Jimmy's seeing things, Jim. <laughs> oh, dear. He's, oh he's been so beaten up, he's seeing three of him, and he picked the wrong one to try and backbreak her, oh, and that is definitely it this time. It's over. It's actually over. Lemon on the run of his life. He tank on what? <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic is ridiculous. He's actually ridiculous. No way. No Still, way. Still though, he's, he's so badly beaten. <laughs> he, he's just got nothing to give back. He can kick out and that is all he's got. Wow. Oh my oh. word. Ref, stop this. Just stop this now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Double stomp. Caves his chest in. After all sorts, <laughs> Jimmy with the jawbreaker. Purely <laughs> fighting on instinct. Go. Runs Lemon over. Let's go. Calls for the powers of the heavens. <laughs> of all the little Jimmies. <laughs> the power of distrusty. <laughs> <laughs> There it is again. How how is he feeling this? How has he got a second wind after what he's been through? Unbelievable. Oh, and this time this he time. connects. <laughs> yeah. It's an easy move to miss, the backbreaker, Jim. <laughs> oh, the fantastic oh, splash out of nowhere. Out of absolutely nowhere. Oh. Jim's wall. Wow. The sheer surprise nearly catches Lemon out. Nearly stunned into submission.
And he misses with a oh, chop. And, a and Jim rolls from the second one. And drop puts a hold back to move the bus. Jimmy opened a moment ago and it's the Jim bottom. Oh my goodness. It's the ultimate Jim comeback. Yes. We've seen some ridiculous ones in our time, but this might top them all. Has he yes. got it? Surely he has. Two. Two. No. Oh, no. Sure. no. Fuck you. Wow. No. Oh my days. What an opening match. This is ridiculous. Oh Lemon. Two Trouble in Paradise is not one yet. Jim, two Jim Bottoms, not one yet. Mm. You gotta say Lemon's had the best of it overall, but either man ready to go now. Mm. It's just that a gust of wind might finish, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Trying to stomp a hold. Jim doing a good job of blocking it. No, gets through eventually. Oh dear, oh here no. we go. The third oh Trouble no. in Paradise. This has got to be it. Oh my oh, god. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. You can see Jim's not even moving. Yeah. That is definitely it. Wow, what a valiant effort, even by Jimmy's standards. But Lemon has done it back to back. Hancock and Jimmy Fantastic. There is no hotter man in the JFW right now. Wow. Wow. I don't believe it. What a what a monster, Lemon. An absolute beast. And what a match. Incredible stuff. We, we might just have seen match of the night right there, opening match. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Goliath's pretty good, Goliath Games. <laughs> pretty darn good. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Wow. Wow, I wouldn't want to go on after that. No, it's a, it's a big it's a big match to follow, but we've got a lot of people to share the burden of having to follow it. Uh, there actually has been a last minute change to the match as well. No way. Yeah, so there you go. Mr. Jim McMahon insisted that Ardvac was replaced by Physics. So. Wow. Yeah. When this finishes. The man that's got everything. Yeah. The looks, the skills, the agility, the speed, the strength, the brains. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, we, we, we've got an eight-man Money in the Ass qualifying match. We've got Storr. We've got Jack Bull. We've got Crusher. We've got Clavius. We've got WR Spenny. We've got Chunter, Hellboy, and Physics replacing Ardback. There you go. Oh my goodness me! Yeah, what a what a crazy crazy lineup that is, and uh, these guys be super motivated. There is nothing like money in the ass to get the best out of a superstar. It is your chance at the big time, no matter how your form has been, no matter where you are on the totem pole right now. If you win that briefcase, you can cash in for a title to be the number one guy in the entire JFW. Yeah, so far we've got. Uh, Thor and Trific representing SmackDown, and we've got Volcayo, uh, well, Volkvago representing Monday Night Claw. We're going to have four from each show um, in the Money in the Ass eight man ladder match. Spectacular, win. spectacular. It's so good to finally see the Monday Night Claw and the Friday Night Stand Firm superstars crossing paths once more on this one time special occasion. And, uh, and so far, if anybody's keeping count, every time that happens, Monday Night Claw superstars are victorious. Literally 100% of the time. <laughs> Will that true. continue through money in the ass? I think it might, Jim. <laughs> it might. Oh, boy. What a start. It's all Physics go. just demolishing store <laughs> in the middle of the ring. Crusher trying to get rid of Hellboy already. The entertainer extraordinaire. Talking of entertainer extraordinaires, hello, Purple Chest. Hello, PC. Glorious. Um, yeah, so we, we didn't have uh, entrances, of course, because it would take about 10 years. Um, so just cut straight to the, the Battle Royale. First, uh, well, uh, first, last one in the ring um, wins. Everyone is eliminated if they get thrown over the top rope and both feet hit the floor. And falls count anywhere. Uh, Technically, I guess, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you fall to the outside from anywhere, yeah. <laughs> then, then it counts. Um, 
Sorry, J gosh. Oh, yes, yeah, Spenny. Sorry, I was about to ask you who uh, who Spenny was. That's uh, very professional of me. Right. Yes, he, he was drafted by you to break up, of course, the tag team of Dionysian and Artemis and Spenny that. Yes, uh, yes, I remember now. Skura was after them, uh, and I, I wanted that stop. So there we go. We got Spenny on Monday Night Claw. We've not seen him here for a very, very long time. So just uh, getting my bearings on that one. Oh, my goodness. Flavius. Unbelievable. Straight out. We say physics has everything. Displaying it all there. Not not in a bezel kind of way. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, holy moly. Flavius, an excellent job. W Superstar made to look like a chump by physics. Yeah. Jabble yeah. never fears anyone, does he, Jim? Going <laughs> right after Crusher in the corner. Yeah. Looking particularly happy today, Jack Bull. <laughs> he's, he's ready to celebrate, regardless of the result. <laughs> oh, I guess you, I guess you haven't seen the picture of Jack Bull, have you? No, sorry, oh, no, no. God, I'll have so to uh, catch up on my memes. Oh, physics is gone! Physics is gone! Oh, wow. We've seen him fly oh. many a time, but rarely when he doesn't want to out the ring. Goodness me, he had his glorious moment getting rid of Clavius, but then Crusher. Gave no two ways about it. Didn't give a darn. And uh, casually used his giant size advantage. I think Crusher might have this, Jim. Like, how does anyone get... Well, not if he does more of that. But how does anyone get rid of Crusher? I know, right? It's a good question. How do you lose? He's just too big. Too strong. He's the super heavyweight and he spears Spenny. He spears Spenny. Spenny is done. <laughs> Spenny is spent. <laughs> Crusher rolling to the apron and uh, Jack Ball with the celebratory push ups. <laughs> That's a little premature. <laughs> if you haven't seen that picture, that's when he said he was a. Hey, that when he was, that he was saying how happy he oh! was. Oh my god, Crusher's Damn! gone! Spenny dumped Crusher out. Right, you have to eliminate nobody because then you're next out. No, that isn't true. Oh Spenny's still Storm. in and Jack Ball. Jack Ball dumped out by Storm. Goodness me. Oh, Self rock bottom by Storm and Spenny. We got the Welsh Maestro, Spenny in red. We got Storm. Ooh, the takes them both out. The beater of X Trans Belt champions, the tag team cha X champion, the Plimp on Plusway X champion, Storm in green. We've got Golden Walls of Chanterino Chanter, <laughs> who's been an incredible singles competitor ever since he changed color. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And we've got Hellboy, the maestro, on the apron, still waiting for his first big moment. He's new to the JFW. This could be his night, though, Jim. It really could, yeah. This is the perfect kind of opportunity, isn't it? Mm. Homeless Aquaman, is that? All you got to do is be there at the end, maybe catch your opponent out by surprise, and you can, mm. uh, you can win this one. It's anybody's for the taking. You just got to hang in there, and that's what Storr's doing right now as Chunta desperately tries to get rid of him. Oh, looking bad for Hellboy here. Looking it is real rather. bad. Spenny already got rid of Crusher, and there Ooh. goes Hellboy. Oh, my goodness. This Spenny can go, Jim. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know him five minutes ago. He's an absolute badass. He really is, yeah. Those, those, it's those calves. That's what do it. <laughs> they are. They are phenomenal. I was thinking, man. Like, they weren't. Like, a lot of people trying to, like, uh, go down the gym, get themselves a bit buff. Can't get the calves going. I was all right. I was all right with the calves, but I never got them looking anything like that. That is absolutely phenomenal calfage right there. <laughs> Top tier calfing. It oh is. My oh my God. goodness. Chunter destroyed by Storm, but Spenny catches oh, Storm. Storm's gone. Storm's no. gone. Surely. Yes. No. Yes. It's no, yes. He's clinging on for dear life, Jim. Oh my God. Hey, he can wow. you skips. I mean, Storr's the only one with experience of being like seven feet up in the air <laughs> when a tree man grabs him to toss him across the ring, to toss him across the pitch. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Spenny also clinging on to the bottom rope for dear life, manages to come back in. Chunter recovers all three men. Here we go. Oof. Oh. Huge move from Chunter. Sit down, scoop slam, send store to the apron. And now it's Spenny and Chunter. Side rush and leg sweep from Spenny. Chunter's taken a heck of a beating. He's really struggling now. He's going to have to have... Oh, my word, his head gets taken off with that boot. This is Spenny. Spenny has undoubtedly been the MVP of this match. He really has, yeah. Unbelievable. Counter from Chunter. Oh, oh DDT. 
Great comeback. Surely this is the last roll of the dice for Chunter. He's got to make this count. He's got to get rid of him. Oh, my God. He's going to try. I think he's got him, yep. I think he's got him. Yep. He has! No! Oh, oh my won. goodness! Jim, wow. I think his feet hit the floor. I reckon I saw that. Wow. Hey, hang, he hung on. He, it, oh, look at this. Incredible. Wow. The rod and salt, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And DDT to store. Chunter standing alone and glorious in no the middle way. of the ring. Absolutely. No dominant. way. <laughs> oh, Code breaker on store. And then he gets caught by Spenny, blindsided. Oh my god. By the MVP of the match so far. But Chunter's determined to not make that count for anything. Uh, he's going to take this home himself. Whip Spenny into the corner. Oh. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. And he turns around and immediately catches Storr. He wasn't getting caught out there, but look at the power of Storr. He's short, but he's powerful. Oh, my goodness. Face plunge, Chunter. Boy, Can he make it count? Spenny can't believe he got eliminated. He thought this was his night. I thought it was his night. Yeah. Storr, has Storr got Chunter? Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's going to have to find a, a mighty, powerful shove in a moment, Jim. He <laughs> might do, he does! Oh, oh no! Oh, he's kicking him, he might get him off here. He might. Can Storr get Chunter off? <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, elbows from Storr, still definitely in control. Chunter really struggling, oh. belly to back. Oh, my word, destroys him. Destroys him. Oh, my goodness, Jim. It's over. <laughs> Don't say it's over. Oh. <laughs> Knees Savage. to the back and look at those metal plated knee guards. Yeah, Chunter isn't going to move again for a week. Oh, judo arm drag, but Storr kicks up. What on earth? Oh my God. <laughs> Somehow, look at the flexibility of Storr. Gets Chunter down once more. Oh, it's definitely over now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> It's a lot of damage, but he needs to eliminate him, like not doing these moves. Okay, they're, they're going to hurt Chunter. No, oh, no. Chunter's never moving again, Jim. That's <laughs> it. He just picks him up and casually tosses him out now. That's it. <laughs> he's What's he's he doing? Gonna get him out. Get him out. He's just torturing Chunter at the moment, isn't he? He's, he's saying, do you think you're good at rats? How, try CC, exclamation point, CCL store. <laughs> 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 Here we go. He's finally had it off of toying with the golden rat. Store. No. Flip one blues away champion of the past. Tag team champion of the past. He's now going for the world championship. The first man to win all three. <laughs> Will he get his shot at money in the ass? Oh, he can't get him. He can't get Surely. him. Surely. Surely. No. Elbow to the ship from Chunter. How is Chunter hanging in there? He has been absolutely destroyed. Side rush and leg sweep. Oh, man. Store down. Store rolls up. S swinging back fist. Chunter with the counter. Clawed <laughs> foot to the gut. Scoop slam. Oh my god. I think Chunter's got this. He might. He just might. <laughs> oh my goodness. KO's him. Kick to the head. Oh my god. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's got him. He's oh got him. Oh my word! Wow! Oh my <laughs> word! He's launched him off. Wow! Like a rocket to the moon. Let me. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Man, Chunter took an absolute battering and just hung on and hung on and hung on. Wow, he deserved that. Yeah, un just unbelievable, wasn't it? Incredible. I don't believe it. Not not many people stop store either. That's that's really an achievement. Yeah. Hancock lost last week. Store got eliminated this week. What what is going on in the JFW right now? No. <laughs> it took you for a while to work out what to do is he can't have <laughs> That's fair, that's fair. That's a good analysis. Oh my god. Channeled his inner snotling. Yeah. Yeah, that Found was away. it. That was it. And yeah, he took those brutal knees to the back over and over and over again. How much did it cost him to get that victory? Unbelievable.
Yeah, he's uh, he's going to be eating through a straw until next claw, but uh, it's worth it. It's worth it if you get such a big win. <laughs> Jinder guard next to him first. <laughs> 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 you you won't see plays like that anywhere else. <laughs> yep. Oh, Amazing. Right. Well, now this is like an uphill here for Fan Fox, isn't it? How the hell is he going to take on Table Leg Wanger? Can he can he replicate Lemon success against Jimmy against Table Leg Wanger? Honestly, I'm I'm weirdly struggling to see Dress Business losing a singles match at the moment, Jim. So yes. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'd never say that normally. Table Leg Wanger is a beast. Yeah. But last time, he he and Jimmy fought one-on-one. -on -one. Jimmy got the better at Table Leg. I, I think he is better in the tag team. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, great entrance, though. It really is. It really is. I'm just glad they found a robe long enough. <laughs> yeah. And I don't mean for his legs. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Weird for him, isn't it, Jim? He he here on Monday Night Claw misses Wanger now on Friday Night Stand Firm. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's sad. Sad times for Wanger, isn't it? A bit, you know, like okay, he's got Jimmy there to keep him company, but yeah, it must be horrible having Mrs. Wanger on SmackDown. Stand firm, stand firm. <laughs> <laughs> Stand for... I don't know why I said that. You, you've still got about 10 to go before you overtake Skuro, Jim. That's true, yeah. <laughs> oh, great entrance for Fan Fox as well with the solos. Always forget the... That's uh, phenomenal. Yeah. That's phenomenal. <laughs> he should break away from Lemon just for this. <laughs> he really should. <laughs> Pretty amazing, guys. <laughs> he is the Wally with a brolly. <laughs> Lovely monocle. Yeah, I was trying to think of something to rhyme with monocle. I came up short. <laughs> Not easy, is it? He's comical with his monocle. That'll have to do me. Yeah. Wow. Chronicle, nice. <laughs> His win may break bit me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Good job, Jim. <laughs> Stick to the app. <laughs> His win may be improbable, <laughs> but at least he has a monocle. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> you're, you're a modern John Keats. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll stick to yep. In fact, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. I'll, I'll stick to nothing for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> see, see you soon, Jim. <laughs> Table leg in control so far. Skirting his prey. Maybe skirting a little too much. Fan Fox gets up. Oh, no. He knew what he was doing. Absolutely demolishes him. Fan Fox really has to find a way not to go toe to toe power for power here because he's not going to win that. And arm drag is a good start. But look at it. Look at the power of Table Leg. Just launching him across the ring as if it's absolutely nothing and smashing his head. Yeah, this looks bad. I think the uh, I think the singles win streak address business is over here. I can't see Table Leg losing this one. Oh, he misses with a right. Fan Fox throws him back in the ring. He's got to capitalize. Drop kick. That's what we're talking about. All right. Fan Fox finding a way now. Kick to the back. Got to keep this control going. Beautiful stomps to the back. Um, oh, he's going to launch. Yeah, he's going to launch him. Beautiful. That's the kind of leverage Fan Fox needs to use the entire match. Kick to the side, not letting him up. Stomp straight in there. Not giving him a moment to breathe. Keeping him off his feet. No power if you're off your feet. Drags him up, but he better be getting him straight back down. No, it was a mistake. Table leg wing back in control now. Stomp on the floor. <laughs> uh, Knight, this is... Uh... 
This is the uh, the two heads championship division come apart into singles competitions. So yes, the uh, the weights are a little bit offset. Oh my word! Got wrench knee to the gut from table leg. And he's limbering up. He's feeling it now. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. The fans are feeding him. And Fan Fox rolls out the way of the chop. And catches him too quick. Neck breaker. Beautiful speed from Fan Fox. This is exactly what he needs. Snapmare. Oh, and wrenching the leg. I like it. We might see a sharpshooter later, so I love the leg wrench. That's the kind of thing that's going to make table leg tap. Drop kick to the back. Beautiful aerial maneuvers. Countered by Wanger, but a speed of Fan Fox. Look at the chops. Stunning Wanger whips him to the corner. And oh, baby. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Fan Fox outwitting Table Leg at every moment, using his speed again. Twice, Table Leg trying to get in there. Twice, outwitted by the Fox. Great stomps to the leg again. Man, that sharpshooter is going to have a wonderful chance to win later if Fan Fox applies it. Launches him once more. Somebody did their homework before this match. And I think I might have been wrong. Sit down, Powerbomb. Doesn't hang on for the pin. Knows it's too early. Wants to keep this momentum going. And he does Spine Buster. It could be the Fox's elbow. But he needs to take a breather. Understandable. Goes for the pin. Ref took an age to get round. Still gets a two count, but only just. Boy, how do you? Tell you what, though. It shows he's on the right track. And there's no response from Wanger. Fox bottom. Oh, Fox bottom. God. Damn, it's going to be over. It's been all Fat Fox. Oh, my God. What is wrong with Dress for Business? They're on a, they're on a tear. I don't know. He's done He's it. Got He's got it. it. He's beating him in a squash match. <laughs> what on earth? Wow. Wow. The Glorious Ones absolutely sent packing. They, they'd better stick to tag team it, Jim. And they'll be fine if they do. I don't know what's going on for Dress for Business in the singles division. Maybe they want the extra arms belt of the World Championship at the same time. And at this rate, they're going to get them. Oh, my God. Wow. 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 It's just... I'm speechless. You couldn't ride it. You couldn't ride it. Really if they couldn't. made it into a Hollywood movie, you'd walk out and discuss that it was too unrealistic. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jumbertap. Believe me, if I tried to rig it, I couldn't. Uh, that's the wrong match. Sorry there. That's the, completely the wrong match. Uh, the right match is Gengar versus Pepper Biscuit. The uh, former former teammates, right, in, in Six Feet Down Under. Now Six Feet Down Under is being split up by the, by the draft and isn't really a thing anymore. So Gengar is going to... You know, take a shot versus Peppered Biscuit. Wow. Yeah, six feet down under came to a, a brutal end. And uh, here we go. The absolute giant and the one guy that seemed to really get it in the tag team department of six feet down under, Gengar, making his comeback. Now that his old friend is the extra arms belt champion, Pepper Biscuit sure took the long route to winning a title for somebody with such an incredible winning record, but he finally got there. But will Gengar prove his immediate undoing? He knows all his moves, Jim. It's a very good point, isn't it? They know each other very, very well indeed. Honestly, it's great to see Gengar back. Yeah, it's been a while. One of the absolute super heavyweights of the JFW. We saw Crusher fail to... Join the money in the ass match earlier tonight. Will Gengar represent for the big, big, big guys? He is very big, isn't he? 
seven footer. Nearly as big as they come. You could maybe build a robot bigger. That's about it. <laughs> yep. Who'd do that? Only a complete madman. Rick Reckless. <laughs> Rick Reckless, of course, built himself a suit to fight a robot. That <laughs> he was did, pretty he amazing. Did. That's true. <laughs> I forget. There's been so many Rick outfits. I forget some of them sometimes. <laughs> an Iron Man match. An Iron Man match. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great <laughs> <problem>. <laughs> I thought that was him in the commentary booth for a second. Then, <laughs> no, he never. He's never in the commentary booth. Never ever. No, oh, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't think we've had him in once. We should sometime. <laughs> yeah, it's an idea, isn't it? Oh, dear. That way, those of us that work hard can work even harder, and those of us that don't can. <laughs> <laughs> shades of shades of Hellboy and El Dudorino. <laughs> that was great. Wasn't it? <laughs> I'd love, yeah. I'd love to see a Rick Reckless and Rick Schiavone cast. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds like a nightmare, Jim. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the belt suits Pepper Biscuit. He wears it with pride. But will he walk away with shame? Oh my goodness, DDT from Gengar. Rarely is Pepper Biscuit outpowered, and normally, even when he is, he can hold his own still, but uh, he really is the smaller man here tonight. Yeah, this is a big ask from PB. As the ex trans belt champion, he knows he needs to represent. He can't show weakness. Whew. There we go. Powers right through. Instantly telling Gengar, you might be big, but I can get you up. Oh, look at this. Gengar can get PB up as well. <laughs> oh, my word. Everybody can get everybody up. It's going to be hard. <laughs> Flip me. <laughs> yep. Oh, the eye rake. Wow. Dirty tactics. Cheating. No, uh, yeah, well, they are six feet down under, you know. There's no depths of depravity they won't sink to to try and get the win. Yeah. Oh, hits him in the gut with a stiffy. <laughs> Flip me. <laughs> Rick, you're out of control tonight. <laughs> what? They were, they were close fist punches, Jim. They were stiff as anything. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you get in there and take one and tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Once upon a time, these two were dead, Jim, but then they had their res erection. <laughs> now, thank goodness for that, because they are two of the greatest JFW superstars we've got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this. What a pin. This is a PG. Oh God! Oh, oh my God! He reversed it. He might have him. Oh, oh wow! God. A roll up for PB. <laughs> wow! That is not the kind of technical wrestling we used to from six feet down under, Jim. It really isn't. No, shocking. Oh God! This is more like it. Oh, oh my goodness! God. Nine feet up in the air! Nine feet up in the air! It's over! <laughs> the champion's gonna lose. Punted! Oh my God! What? Oh, no, How can he do more? Him. Well, this is it. Surely, surely this is... No. Counter wow. from the Wow. The champ counters the finisher and lands one of his own. How does he press slam Gengar? Surely impossible. 
That's why he's the champ, baby. Oh my god. Actually, why is the champ? Is Goliath Game stood by and watched him win? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Still not entirely sure what the subtext was there. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> not with hands that <laughs> What's wrong with everybody tonight? <laughs> You're a bad influence, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out and chat, guys. You're making it hard on Jim. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All does is Gengar. Oh, wow. Huge. Huge slam here. Is this it? That could be it. That's a heck of a power slam. And Gengar's taking a lot of punishment. Plus Ooh. decay. No, he's okay. No, I got a video out called Six Feet Down Under, Jim. Really? <laughs> it's rated R. <laughs> Oh my, oh my goodness. Pepper Biscuit sending a message to the entire oh, JFW oh, locker it. room tonight. This is it. And that is definitely it. He is the champ for a reason. He's wow. Dead. Holy moly, what a performance. It doesn't matter how big you are, how well you know him, how evil your intentions. He is bigger, stronger, more evil, knows you better. He's going to put you away. Pepper Biscuit, our extra arms belt champion. Boy, howdy. What a win. <laughs> well, Gengar might need another res erection after that. <laughs> you really might. <laughs> no. Next up, we've got actual tag team action in the in the show that has the tag team belts. Uh, Gorilla Mezzo managed to steal away most of the tag teams to stand firm without the belts. But there are a few tag teams left, and we've got North and South taking on the Scousers. Many, many tracksuit and football fans in this match. <laughs> and, and isn't it good out of the ones that we've got left? Half of them we've got in singles matches, Jim. Yeah, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? <laughs> Almost yeah, like is... to fill out the card, we have to do that. Because <laughs> there's not enough <laughs> tag teams. <laughs> Almost like bloody Gorilla Metso stole our best superstar. I mean, you know, our, our bottom of the rung superstars. <laughs> and yeah. we've still got the cream of the crop. <laughs> cough, yeah. cough. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Oh, I do love both these tag teams in their own way. Our amazing champions, the Scousers, and North and South, unbelievably ex-champions themselves. Yeah, they had that glorious run, didn't they? Just fated to win it that time. Unbelievable. They haven't really put anything together like it again, but you know, maybe they can start tonight. Exactly. You, you never know. Everybody gets their 15 minutes. Yeah. And they've got a great entrance. They, at least they get that minute every most weeks. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They love it no matter what. They just like being here, like uh, soaking up the adoration of the fans and eating the buffet backstage. Mm. Yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah, and unbelievably, does Scotty beat Tony Plays poorly? One, two, three in the middle of the ring to become world champion one time. And Ansi... Ansi Burst onto the scene in the uh, Plim Plum Plusweight division, winning that. So, yeah, incredible. You know, can't Gosh. really mock them that much. They have done so, they have a great career. We, we talk about going for our first uh, Grand Slam champion. Both of these are as close as anybody. Yeah, yeah, they really are. That's mm. crazy. Crazy. Yeah, Tony, there's been a lot, awful lot of dick jokes from Rick tonight. None from me. All from Rick. I, I, I know it's a, 
Everything I say is just how you interpret it, Jim. It's all, you know, you got a dirty mind, man. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> well, it is true, but it's unrelated to the fact that what uh, you've said. Uh. <laughs> we can elbow match. Oh man. Yeah, this is this is the match with the elbow joke. <laughs> Here we go, the scouts. Thank you, Lars. <laughs> That's it, Arrow, the Monday Night Claw Champions. That's all we've got at the moment. Uh, Friday Night Stand Firm, the Plim Plum Pluserweight division, with currently the uh, the Wem Dope Championship, and of course, with the World Championship. If they ever bother to make it, as they should, Lazy Gorilla Metso, the Women's Championship. Yeah, it's uh, crazy that they haven't got a women's championship, isn't it? They really should it is crazy! It. It so obviously needs to happen! Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe they haven't done that. But they haven't, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where we're at right now. <laughs> Back in the 1900s. So, <laughs> these are two-thirds of our champions. One of the Steve Motties, I never know which one, and Hancock, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All Scousers look the same to me. <laughs> this could be a draw. It could be a double count out, couldn't it? They're, they're not that rare in. Uh, they're not that rare in in tag matches. No, no, we see it all the time. Oh wow. A little bit of extra hype there from uh, yeah. North and South. Love to see it. Yeah. Right, here we go. Oh, wow. What a start from Ansi. I didn't think he was going to connect. Hancock backed <laughs> off as if he was getting out of the way of that. And somehow he launched himself and still yeah. landed it. Brilliant from Ansi. Hancock yeah. maybe with a little bit of self-doubt after the loss last week. Yeah. Well, Kyle, Stanford has an unbelievably deep women's division, the most women wrestlers on any wrestling show ever made. <laughs> so, it's kind of crazy they don't have a championship. That, that is true, Jim. That is true. You know, there's Tren and there's Mrs. Wanger and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. La layer after layer, it's like an onion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking of onions, <laughs> watching North and South often makes me want to cry. Hey. Here comes the Scotty, baby. The big man, Hancock, in trouble. Oh. oh. Surely we're not going to see Hancock lose back-to-back -back weeks. That would be wild, wouldn't it? Absolutely unthinkable. But this isn't going to help. Oh. What a powerbomb. Wrapped him up. Oh. oh. The sausage drop. <laughs> Sex and oh drugs and God. sausage rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Words to live your life by. <laughs> Just having a shit in the middle of the ring, it looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We, uh, we make sure he's wearing uh, an adult diaper before he comes out, so nice. that's fine. Nice. That is always a danger when you consume this sheer amount of Greggs and Newcastle Brown Ale. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We've all been there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hancock just not able to get in a single move. Just got he slapping him away. And oh, another God. sausage drop. Oh. oh, man. Paving in the chest cavity of Hancock. I don't think it was Bezel, but, yeah, it should have been, shouldn't it? It really should have been. Here we go, the three amigos. With Spree of Ferdinand and Shearer. The classic. God, I wish it was 1996 again. <laughs> <laughs> 90s, uh, 90s Newcastle was glorious, but... Uh, but, you know, they're, they're on the rise now, Jim. I mean, mostly because I'd be 16 again and not an old bastard, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd be ready to invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> well, there is that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I there, there were some upsides to being 16, but I was also a complete moron, so... I mean, yeah, yeah, to be fair, I was. But still, it's still... <laughs> 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 Knowing what you know now, it'd be pretty good to go back, wouldn't it? Yeah, I always say, yeah, that body with my brain is like the perfect combination for my life. Let's say the V. Oh! Spike pile driver! Yeah. Hancock has been demolished and he's oh called him for the finish! Team oh Body's gotta save this one or it's over! Oh my god! If Ansi gets in here, this could be it! Package pile driver this time! That is absolutely it! It is! You're right! Ansi could get the win, effectively! No. Wow, Steve Motti like a flipping dart! Yeah. Like the dart to the head of an unsuspecting uh, hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there, there's the elbow look. There's the elbow attack. He is, he's done that twice now. You're not wrong. Time to bring in Ansi. To Scotty knows he's only got uh, so much stamina in him before he needs a breather. And brilliantly makes the tag. And wow. Double team on Hancock. But can he make the tag himself? No. Desperation tag. Not there. Ansi cuts it off. We could see the, uh, the, the Danny Death Dire driver drop. I, I always forget which of those words go into that. Um, the, but he could win this, Jim. Yeah, he could. The dire death drop. The one. Oh, wow. I thought Steve Money was going to save the day. I think he thought that too. Ansi had other plans. Yep. Steve Money fighting back now. It's him on the shoulders. Oh, oh counter. Got him. It's all been north and south. It's been absolutely nothing of the champion. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? I don't know it's what's going ridiculous. on tonight. There's something in the water. I guess Pepper Biscuit won. Yeah, that's true. But pretty, yeah, pretty much every match has been an upset. Unbelievable. Raziness going down tonight on Monday Night Claw. Scotty working over Steve Mai. I tell you what might happen. The smaller guy might have won every single match so far. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's a good. Well, except except like Chunter won the the. Yeah, I was I was thinking that, but there was Crusher in that one, and, and plenty yeah. of other bigger guys, right? Yeah. Physics. But Store was the smallest. <laughs> he did defeat Store last. That mm. is true. That is true. We nearly had a clean sweep. Yeah. Oh wow! Okay, massive power from Steve Mighty. Oh, wow. oh my goodness! Where's he got this from? God knows. Spike did it too. Oh, the cop drop. Oh, Ansi so confident and rightly so it would seem. Into Scotty, into Scotty pops up. The scouts just can't touch them. <laughs> this is crazy. The three amigos again. Unbelievable. The Spice Boys, just no competition at all. <laughs> For the three amigos. Absolutely. Absolute and here we go, package pole driver. <gasps> no, no counters. Catches the foot. And he gets the half crowd. The oh half crowd. God. It's won so many matches in the JFW. It really Not is. this one yet, though. <laughs> The devastating half pro. Scotty cuts out the tag attempt from Steve Mai. He's taken a lot of punishment since he's been in there. We've had him against Ansi. We've had him against Scotty. He needs to get out of there, but it's not happening. Yeah. And again, North and South. They're just being a better tag team, Jim. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying these words. They are out tagging the Scousers. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's actually unbelievable. They might have lost their titles at some point, but they've never gone back to being the joke team that they once were. They are always competitive these days. Yeah. Saying that, Steve Moddy going to try and put Ansi away. Spike DDT. Oh, Boom. Can the Scotty make the save? Oh, he's not Doesn't trying. Try. Oh. Wow. To be Ooh. fair, Ansi hadn't taken much punishment, but that's still running a risk. It's a hell of a move. Mm, <laughs> Making sure to mark the ring with their scent. <laughs> <laughs> Ansi with the arm drag. Beautifully done. 
Steve Mott is still stuck in there. Shoulder breaker. <laughs> oh, what's Antsy feeling, Jim? Goodness. A hand stomp. Devastating. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he's got no hand left. He's got to stop him stealing one way or the other. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's the dire death drop. <laughs> yep. The DDD. Oh. He you gets thought him. double D was good. This is triple D's. <laughs> this has got to be it, surely. Oh, and oh my God. At two and three quarters. <laughs> Just about got there. But look what's happening oh. to him. It's got to <laughs> be it. Look at this. The cockiness from NC. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> he loves it. He knows he's got it won. Wow. There's Good. not going to be any Hancock for a month of Sundays. He's just got to put in the pin. Oh, look at him, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> He's loving it. Woo! Oh, this could be too much taunting, though. Gets away with it. Never too much taunting. <laughs> Steve Motty getting out-wrestled every which way he looks. Nancy with the whip to Descotty. No! Whoa. Hurricane Rana! Wow. wow! He's just styling and profiling, he is, isn't he? This is incredible. Not even trying to... Oh my goodness, a super kick! Into German suplex! Oh my god! What on earth? What are we watching? This is the match of North and South's lives, maybe. It, it is, and they've won the championship before, but this has just yeah. been something else. Next level, he's done it! He's won! Absolute dominance. <laughs> wow! <laughs> What on earth? <laughs> <laughs> that is bonkers. Well, hasn't that put the cat amongst the pigeons? Last week we had we had both Dress of Business beat both Scousers in, in singles matches. Tonight we've had Dress of Business beat both gl glorious ones in single matches. But we've also had North and South completely annihilate the Scousers in time. Crazy. I don't know what's going on in the two heads division. Antsy, I think he went from the gobbledygooker to Bret Hart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's Hancock on the decline now. Wow. Well, it was Steve Marty that was uh that was pinned there, but Hancock had taken a hell of a beating. And then, yeah, once he got powerbombed to the outside, never returned. Why the hell is that the picture? I don't know, right, well, I don't know why that's the picture. Um, all that. Right, okay. Here we go. So now it's time for the main event. <laughs> I guess I just didn't... Uh, I guess that's I last week's, right? Yeah, I, just, I guess I just didn't save the... Uh, or saved it on the wrong thing. But anyway, it's a steel cage match between Volcayo and... Tony plays poorly and no alias. So there you go. If Tony wins, he gets his one-on-one -on -one revenge match with Rick Reckless. Rick Reckless ducking Volkvagor tonight, who had challenged him and he'd agreed to it until the start of the show. And it all changed. Yeah, some might call Rick dastardly, cowardly. Uh, but, you know, whatever he is, he has got out of wrestling tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I think that makes him the real winner here, Jim. Maybe, yeah. If if if, if wrestling is anything like blood ball, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Top equity strats. Yeah, but I, sure. I think it's a fair point. I want to see Tony win in a cage before he gets his shot at Rick. Mm. Well, he just might. Here he is, the legend. The legend of the JFW. He is something else, isn't he, Jim? How did that uh, Jack Bull versus Tony match go last week? Um, oh, I've got no idea. I've completely forgotten everything. It's been uh, many sleepless nights since then. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there has been. Every, every night's pretty much sleepless for me. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, fair play. Maybe chat will tell me. But uh, but anyway, the week before, the most ridiculous victory, two on one versus Rick and Jackball. Of course, Rick was at about 50% capacity, and Jackball was more interested in celebrating, but still did not have him penned for a two on one victory. No, I, 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 what happened was uh, Rick jumped him on the way to the in, on the way to the match and assaulted him backstage, and uh, I believe Rick emerged victorious in that backstage brawl. Ah, with the advantage that he gained from the element of surprise. Yes. Brilliant work from Rick again. Well, again, dastardly or cowardly uh, is more commonly called, I think. <laughs> well, you know, if someone's as overpowered as Tony, it's not, not particularly fair. You've got to find a way of getting it done. Maybe. But it's not a gimme tonight, is it? He's against probably the two greatest Wemdope champions of all time here in Volkvagor and Noalius. They are capable of beating anybody. They really are, yeah. This is going to be a real tough match for Tony. Volk disappointed that he isn't facing Rick tonight, although maybe he'll hope that if he gets this win, uh, Rick will uh, keep his word and actually face him after this. Noalius trying to bounce back from uh, being the guy that was pinned by Pepper Biscuit for the extra arms belt championship. He'd earned his way into that match, but he'll be disappointed by the outcome. Yep. <laughs> Just sticking to yeps now. We, we, we tried to go a level beyond, and it was an absolute disaster. So <laughs> <laughs> I know my lane. I'm going to stick in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair, fair shout. <laughs> Did you guys see that uh, Volk found an actual Andorran Blood Bowl coach? <laughs> no, I didn't. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, ge genuinely, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. oh boy. And from Denmark, boy howdy. Pounds, Noah <laughs> yeah, Can this is a camel of pigeons it? here, isn't it? Bo holy moly. Tony might not be favourite in a match, can you believe it? It's pretty close, isn't it? I, I, I probably have Tony edging it, but uh, don't say anything again this time, Jim. But but <laughs> only by the tiniest of margins. Yeah, like it wouldn't be a surprise at all if Noalius won, if Volkvogor won. These are three incredible JFW superstars. And, and the cage adds an extra element as well. Yeah, absolutely. So this is... Uh, is this pin inside or escape? Is this... What's the rules for this one, Jim? It's just a normal cage match, so it could be won via pinfall or doorway escape or climb out or submission. Uh, Noalius, of course, having trouble twice <laughs> with, uh, in a sense, with the Hell in a Cell structure. Maybe yeah. he'll do better in a conventional cage. Yeah, maybe. I miss those old blue cages, Jim. Yeah, yeah, they were good, weren't they? We could have them back, to be honest. That's the way you thought. Maybe we should. Wow. Mm. Maybe we could do that. Oh, Tony, not messing around at all. He just doesn't know any gear but fifth, does he? He's just straight forward, straight ahead. I'm going to go fight. Yep. There's no like, oh, I'll just leave them to it for a little while and catch my breath. <laughs> Wow, Noali is selling what looked like a missed clothesline from Tony there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. Don't> <laughs> oh my word, clotheslines from everyone. Everyone's uh, <laughs> oh, no. repertoire of choice. Clothesline after clothesline, and we're carrying on, but Noali doesn't go down. It's going to take a neck breaker. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, folks, go for the win. Oh, my wow. God. That's very that would have been. Wouldn't that have been incredible if, if Noali had. Tony just went for it. He can't stop both. It might oh, be a yeah. Noalius win. Oh my god. I, I'm seeing a slight problem with three man cage matches here, Jim. Yeah. He's done it. Oh my goodness. Well, he hasn't done it yet, though. He's got to get it down the other side. No, I think he's got it, Jim. Oh, no way. <laughs> Volk for goal, stopping. Oh, but oh, now no. Tony's going for Volk! Oh, no, Tony! What have you done? Noalius might get off! Tony actually played poorly, Jim! No, he's got oh, him! Oh, no! He's got him! 
And now Volkov. Okay, triple threat cage matches are bizarre. I'm saying it now. Why is Volk going over towards them? <laughs> What's Volk doing? <laughs> oh, Moralius falls hard. Tony gets caught by Volk. Oh Volk God. just wanted to be Spider-Man for a minute. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, what a maneuver. Got to turn his attention to what? No alias, he does. Tony plays poorly, better let him stop him. Oh, nice catch for No alias. But he's going to. No, yeah, gives up wisely so. Both men coming at him. Wasn't going to happen. There goes Tony. Yeah, that was too ambitious, too. Yeah. Yeah, they're both right there, Tony. Oh god. Right on his face. Well, he's called Tony Plays Poorly for a reason. <laughs> Physically, he's the most overpowered man in the JFW, and that's a nice dodge. But mentally, he's never that impressive, Jim. <laughs> he even I wouldn't gives have him. Uh, he? I wouldn't pay him to do my homework for me. <laughs> well. Wow. Oh, oh, and that lovely counter from Tony. Oh, but what a clothesline from Volk for goal. Biggest man by a way, isn't he, Volk, in this? Yeah, physical specimen. Of course, Tony's, like, just crazy physically. But, uh, but yes, the blessings of chaos. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen the Horns Ram counted that way before. No, I don't think I have. I'll leave those press. Tony. Tony. Oh, Tony, what are you doing? Ball. The ref isn't looking. Oh, I think you got a two count. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard the uh, the fans chanting. Yeah. Stop it take him, too Tony. long. Stop him, Tony. This is absolutely Ooh. wild. Like, this is nearly over at every turn. It could have been over within about 10 seconds. Somehow it's still going on. It doesn't look like it's quite going to finish yet. But, man, three-man cage matches are the weirdest. They really are. Oh no, Noalius. Oh no! He's finally got him. Thought he was going to go flying from uh, nine feet up there, but uh, he's okay for now. Seven feet will have to do. Ooh. Oh, Volk for goal! And Tony! Whoa. Surely we've got a winner now. No, Volk's doing his weird Spider Man bit again. Tony! Kicking him away. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Maybe Tony's, Tony's gonna... won. He's going to face Rick. He Rick's going to face it. Tony after all. He really might have it. No, oh, no. no gets him. I thought Noalius was down for an age. He wakes up just in time. Volk better not go after Noalius, as we've seen <laughs> some of the competitors do previously. Oh, just uh, enjoying the structure a little bit too much. Mm. There goes Tony. Oh, the timing of Volkvagor. Oh, my goodness. Get up the cage. He's done it. That's it now, Jim. That is actually it. <laughs> yeah, this could be it. <laughs> what a picture. <laughs> what a picture. <laughs> that's, that's happy Jack Bull. <laughs> Believe it or not, that is happy Jack Bull. <laughs> Worth getting on his good side. He's definitely won this, Jim. Volkvagor should have faced Rick Reckless tonight. Maybe he'll get his wish because he's won this. He's, he's got, got it. it. He's, he's got, got it. it. He's done it. He's oh done it. God. Tony stopping the wall is all too late. Oh. Wow. The man who was Great. robbed of the... Well, robbed of his match versus Rick was still in the main event and he won it. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's a huge win for Volkvagor. The greatest Wembley champion of all time, showing us why tonight. Yeah. His weird Spider-Man tactics paying off in the end. <laughs> yeah, unbelievably. Yeah, Store couldn't get into the money in the ass match, but Andorra with the win in the main event. Here is your winner, <laughs> Daddy, Daddy. Daddy. Well, Kapo. Big up Andorra. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> Spider for go. <laughs> there you go, kind of, yeah, kind of. Right, well, there you go. That was that was Monday Night Claw. Um, thank you very much, Rick Schiavone. As always, absolutely glorious. Thank you, Jim. Pleasure to be here. Some interesting results. I'm glad I didn't miss them. <laughs> yeah. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>